Welcome back to the Video Dictionary, where we explore the language and the words we use every day. My name is Benjamin Lewis, and I'm sorry it's been a while. I made a huge mistake planning this vacation the way I did, and it got in the way of everything. But I'm coming back, and today we're looking at the word authoritarian. Adjective. Related to or favoring complete submission to a person, system, or power. Noun. Someone who prefers submission to authority over freedom. History and etymology. The word authoritarian is a great example of how a suffix can completely change the feeling and tone of a word. The word authoritarian ultimately goes back to an old word for author, as in to author a book or create something, which was actor, which was a borrowing from Old French. In the 14th century, this word was borrowed, and it referred to someone who had begun something. It could refer to a father, creator, one who brings about, or one who makes or creates. And by the 14th century, the definition had narrowed to the point where it's the word author that we have today, meaning to write or even to compose music. The same Latin root we get the word author from is the same one we get the word authoritarian from. It started out as an old French word for authority, autorité. In the 1200s, the word autorité primarily referred to scripture, like passages from the Bible or other texts that were meant to be treated as true or were to be obeyed or followed. The first time the word authority was used to actually refer to a person was in court proceedings, when you'd have a witness come in who was an authority on a subject. And it didn't necessarily mean that person had to be obeyed. It implied that that person was to be believed because they were the ones that had first-hand knowledge of the situation. And it wasn't actually until the 14th century that it gained the meaning of a person that was to be obeyed or to be followed, like a leader. Before that, it just meant something that was true, something that was to be believed. Authority isn't really a bad thing. It's something that can be followed. It's something that can be listened to or believed. But you still need to question these things. And then... That's what that suffix, authoritarian, means. It describes a system or people that just want to follow and insist on their system or their person or their power being the one that's believed and followed to the point of imposing violence if it is not. That's what that suffix, authoritarian, <laughs> means. The in. It adds that whole bit of violence at the end. An authority followed voluntarily is good. It can lead to great things being done. But an authority being followed because it's imposed against your will is a big problem. But now I'm starting to get into my commentary. And with how things seem to be going on YouTube lately, um, when the commentary is going to get a little political... I think it's going to be in my best interest to put that somewhere else. So, um, if you would like to hear my commentary on the word authoritarian and what it means and where it is in our current culture, um, you're going to have to head over to BitChute to see that. Jump to this point in the video over there and you can watch the rest of my commentary there. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video or feel like you've learned something, please leave a like and share the video with a friend who you think might find it interesting. Make sure you subscribe on both BitChute and YouTube, and follow me on social media, both Alt Tech and the big corporate social media giants. Find the links in the description below. If you'd like to help support my channel or this project, you can find links to my Subscribestar, Patreon, PayPal, and even a Bitcoin wallet in the description below as well. Again, thank you for watching, and until next time, keep on learning.